You know, despite how stylish they are, not everyone prefers a shop apron. But if you make one, you can customize it exactly how you want. This is how I made mine. If you're new to sewing, then it's always a good idea to definitely wash and iron your material really well. Um, unless you're using waxed canvas or cotton, uh, which takes a little bit different. But when you're laying out measurements, um, the basic measurements are fine. For me, just remember to leave some room at the top edge, at the bottom, and at the side edge so that we're going to fold those over and create our seams there. That curved area, we don't need to create any seams there. So just folding this in half and cutting out our basic pattern and then get back to ironing. So I'm just starting with the bottom edge and the top edge first. I'm gonna fold those over twice and iron them down really good. Again, if you were using a waxed material, then uh, make sure and protect your iron by using another material on top. But I'm just using a basic sort of lightweight canvas here. Um, and when you're sewing, again, if you're new to sewing, then when you start and finish each edge, you want to back stitch for just a few stitches. And you may forget for a little bit, but you just that'll be one of those habits that you'll get into. So I sewed three uh, seams down. And I did that for both the top and the bottom. Uh, not for any particular reason. And I made these sort of thick, um, thick edges at the top and bottom. But that was just a personal preference that's not necessary. So with that done, then I'm going to do the sides. So again, just ironing over once and twice. If you iron it really well, then you won't need to use the pins to hold this in place. So this is the basic apron. We've got all these edges addressed. And now, the way that the straps work on this is I'm going to cut out and I, I'm creating uh, four of these because I don't have enough material to create two sort of long straps so I'm gonna cut bring these together but basically you can see sort of just folding it over and then folding again and and ironing it so that I create uh, nice edges and then we're just gonna encapsulate that curved area within the strap with enough room left over to create a loop on the side and then we'll create the neck and back straps uh, as well so again you could pin this to help keep it but if you go slowly and carefully um, that's not entirely necessary and so I did it a few stitches down this And when doing the loops, at this point, you've got material folded over on top of itself several times over, and this was the thickest part, uh, the most material that I was asking the sewing machine to, to go through. So um, just forward and back stitch a couple and take it a little bit slow. So creating two loops, again just it's folded back on itself and sewn to that edge. So this is just to extend the straps that will go across the back. You wouldn't need to do this if you had long enough material to start with, but I wanted to use just the same material all the way through, so I needed to extend this. One of the things you can do is leave the needle in the material, lift up the foot, and then uh, change the direction you're sewing, and that way you can get a continuous uh, thread. So again, now I've got these straps completed. And with that done, I can 
find a place where I think it's going to cross in the back well, pin it, test it on, you know, try it and fit it. But if that works, then go ahead and just sew that together. I really like using cross straps as opposed to a neck strap. I find it's just more comfortable. But you could just sew a neck strap um, if that works for you. So these cross straps extend down through the loops and then if you had them long enough you could simply tie them in the back but I'm going to use buckles and I'm not even going to worry about having those buckles be adjustable. This is you know, an apron for me so uh, once it fits for me then I'm going to sew that in and it'll be permanently at, uh, at that measurement. <laughs> I actually got kind of pretty close and lucky because this was the I used, ended up using the, the most of the strap that I had anyway. So it's not like I had a lot of room. But these are the things that I'm going to put into my apron. Not a lot. I'm not trying to weigh it down heavy with a, a bunch of stuff. But with that in mind, I'm just sort of drawing while wearing the apron um, to get an idea of where I want these pockets and my pencils to go. And I'm going to use a diagonal to hold my pencils. I found, um, I've actually, I've read a couple people and, and seen this advice before and it works really well. See, it doesn't poke up into your neck. It doesn't uh, interfere when you're bending over. So I, I find it works well. So with that rough, when I came back in and made that little clear, so I've got two pockets and a loop and and uh, my pen and pencil and knife pockets. For the pockets, um, again, I, I'm, I can just sort of measure it based on the, the drawings that themselves and then just make sure I give uh, myself some edge to fold over and bend over on each side. And same thing with the, the pencil and knife pocket. So you can see I'm, I'm just bending this over and that'll be on the inside. Of course, make sure you get the direction correct. I, I got it wrong the first time, so let me, so of course, correct that. And just to thicken it up a little bit, I cut another piece that was just smaller and placed it inside before sewing it uh, actually onto the apron. Now here I realized that I should have sewn the edges of this first before actually sewing it down. Um, but that's okay. I could come in and sew the edges. Uh, and it's okay that I've already sewed, sewn one down. Of course with these, you just want to be really careful that you don't uh, just sort of get in the groove and sew along all your edges and then you've sewn shut the openings that you need to leave. It's easy enough to rip out seams, so that's obviously not a mistake that really is that terrible. But I just did double seams and left the openings, made sure that the that where the openings were I had a, a several good back stitch seams so that they're really strong. Yeah, you could hear all the excitement going on in my house at that point. <laughs> we had the neighbor's kids over, so it was a party. Again, I'm using that, that idea where you can start sewing and then just leave the needle down in the material, lift your presser foot up, and then uh, start sewing in a different direction. These two pockets, one of them will be covered completely and it's more for holding various items and especially my little uh, square. And the other pocket, the idea was 
that it would mostly be used for screws and uh, something like that, just holding miscellaneous items when it, for assembly. And this was for glasses, and I made it sort of long so that it would hold glasses really well. Now this pocket, again, the, the covering flap here folds down into the pocket or outside. And again, that just the idea is that if I'm using it to hold some screws or something, that I can easily fold that pocket inside and it makes it easy to get in, get it whatever is inside there. Um, but to, it will keep most of the dust out for the rest of the time. And this other pocket covers the entire thing, but I did sew it a little bit high so it would be really easy to open and get at. And then I just put one loop on the side, and I might put another loop on the other side at some point. Uh, it, it's just handy to have, mostly using uh, holding a tape measure on there. Oh, <laughs> sorry. So, the apron. I'm really happy with the way it turned out. I like that I can get at my pencils, all the pockets work well. It just works really well. I think it's a great project, even if you're new to sewing, it's pretty straightforward. You can make mistakes and it's still going to work out really well. Uh, in fact, I liked it well enough that, oh hey, so yeah, I liked it well enough that I made a second version. This one is lighter, the cloth is thinner, in fact it was just a curtain material that I found at the thrift store, so really cheap and easier to sew actually. So, try one.